Heath Mulligan again with the Techology Show. I'm here with Jeremy Summers, who is the Director of Adult Ministries with the Wesleyan Church as part of the Spiritual Formation Department. Yesterday, you guys hosted a pre-conference uh, talking about uh, emerging adulthood uh, called Emergency. Talk a little bit about what the vision for that was. You had Dr. Christian Smith in a great panel. Uh, how that all came about, and uh, just share a little bit of your thoughts on the conference yesterday. Yeah. Um, first of all, to, to go to the high idea of how this was formed, um, I think a lot of uh, pastors um, are experiencing kind of this urgency. That's why we call it emergency of emerging adults, which are those in their 20s and 30s. Uh, seeing the urgency of, of uh, those in that category disengaging from the church as well as not participating in the life of the church. However, as we looked at Dr. Smith's uh, uh, presentation, which uh, he's a sociologist of religion, um, from his mainly his studies in the book called Souls in Transition, we're finding that a lot of emerging adults are still very spiritual, but not seeking God in, in those ways. And so the pre-conference was a way to get pastors, uh, district superintendents, leaders um, across the board um, to engage into these issues. Um, and so I think uh, the urgency behind it was um, to find ways that we can uh, come together to integrate these people into the body of, of, of our church. I think uh, it, was, it was great for me yesterday. I think sometimes we get so involved in ministry, we don't really know what's going on in the world. And some of the data he shared yesterday, just the fact that they're literally, between adolescence and adulthood, is this, this new category that none of us has thought about. How do we go from the conference yesterday, what we're talking about, and as a church and as pastors and as ministers of the gospel, reach, uh, reach those people, those emerging adults who are kind of in limbo, and the church really has not reached out to them? And what's, what are some things we can do as a body to do that? Yeah, I think part of it is redefine uh, the language. Um, what, is, what does it mean to be a Christian? Who is Jesus? Uh, what is the gospel? What is salvation? All these terms that we use, this kind of Christianese language. Um, and there's this kind of discussion right now that we're in a postmodern time. Um, and we're seeing studies more and more, at least in the United States, that seems like we're more in a post Christian state. In other words, uh, uh, people are, are past this idea of, of a kind of theocracy, this idea of, of a Christian uh, uh, political nation. Um, and so the language, I think, has to change in our context, um, which means we have to kind of go back to the, the essentials, the basics of, of the teachings of Jesus. The kingdom, what is the kingdom? How do we enter into the kingdom of God? Um, how do we embody that? How do we integrate um, our lives into his work um, in revealing that to our people? So that really comes with uh, really teaching our folks uh, the basics. Um, but again, the language um, is the key in teaching um, those people, um, this love of God and the embodiment of his love. Well, I know that uh, the pre-conference emergency was not the end-all, be-all, that it's just the beginning of the conversation. Definitely. And uh, what are some ways people can, can continue to engage in the conversation with headquarters and, and to get resources for their churches? Definitely. Uh, they can uh, email our department. Um, you can uh, email me at summersj at wesleyan.org. Um, we're also integrating um, the pastors and leaders, uh, young pastors and leaders that are reaching uh, these age groups. Um, so we have church planners, youth pastors, uh, staff pastors, because um, the complexity of the age, um, the pastors are reaching in various forms. Um, and so we're going to districts um, around the nation and actually forming leadership teams to engage, kind of like cohorts. Um, and so those that are interested in being part of that movement um, please email us, and uh, we're getting leaders connected to embody this movement. Well, Jeremy, thanks so much for your leadership and your work, and uh, God bless you, man. Look yep. forward to hearing more from Emergency. Thanks.